the year was 1699. High in Castle Phantom, two sworn enemies engaged in mortal combat. But for one valiant hero, the fight would end in a cruel twist of fate. Trapped within an evil spell, powerful enough to endure the passing of centuries, until the dawn of a new millennium heralds the return of Phantom Cat. I'm a girl, the world may think you're queen of the me. All your relatives may think you're Wonder Girl. All the gang bosses may think the sun don't shine without you a say so. But to me, me, you are just a pain in the neck. But hey, that's a lot of pie now, lad. Yeah, I tell her you take 20% of what I make in good, honest business. And when I say I want more territory, you tell me, go bury my head. She said that? Go bury your head, she said. Go bury your head. Now, say that to an elephant. And he ain't gonna worry on account of how they don't do too much of that thing. But say to me, she knows it's an insult. She showed me no respect. No nah respect, I'll act. No nah respect. And that hurts me. Know what I'm saying? So, what you do next, I'll act? <clears throat> I pull myself up to my full height, which I'm here to tell you is considerably more than her full height. And I say, in that case, Mama Gora, it's finito. I ain't never gonna deal with you no more. It is finito. That's right, Alaf. Never deal with her no more. Talking to you that way, no respect, eh, Alaf? Alaf? Oh, God. Stupid dice. Ah. Uh, you're on free. You what? You're on free. You should be on six. Ha. Ah, thanks. Ha! See how brilliant I am. <laughs> you on the youth training scheme? Yeah. Good, isn't it? Cheers if you keep coming up six. He's here, oh darling of the universe. Then show him in, Lyle. Show him in. Step this way, sir. The monk. It is. I bring a small gift for you. How kind. The world has an ostrich deficit of what? He is dead. Oh. I sincerely hope so. My congratulations. And my pleasure. They tell me the monk is the best hitman in the country. Are they right? Modesty restrains me, Fraulein. But since you ask, yes, I am. I do hope you are right. <laughs> no! And no one saw you? People rarely see me. And it was done so quietly, you could hear a tin drop. Pin! 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 You could hear a pin drop! Uh, tin! 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 You were right. Tin. It is a tin. Tin. You could hear a tin drop. Right, of course it is. <laughs> my mistake. My mistake. Yes, tin. Right. Don't ever correct my English. It's the best English I've ever heard. Thank you. Now that you have proved yourself to me, I have for you the most important job you have ever undertaken. I want you to kill a cat. Phantom cat? How did you know? I have been in your city since only two days, and I have done nothing but talk A phantom cat. He is an enemy. He is an irritation. Irritation is the only thing standing between Her Majesty and... Vile. Yes, uh, scrumptiousness. Shut up. 
and give the dossier to our guests. <laughs> yes, scrumptiousness. Everything you need is in there. Characteristics, non-associates, etc. I do not know who he is or where he came from. All I know is that he must be removed! Can you do it? But of course, there are so many ways to skin a cat. Sometimes I admire your world, milady, and sometimes I despair of it. You have so many complicated things which pretend they will do something and yet do nothing. Like what, for example? For example, you gave me this, and you told me it will bring me images of faraway places. I watch the piece of glass and I see nothing. You gave me this, and told me it will cook my food faster than a kitchen oven or a roasting spit, and I cannot even open it to place my food inside. Why do the makers of such things lie to you? That's so cute. The other one cooks. You must think me very stupid. If I were transported back to your time, I wouldn't handle things half as well as you do in my time. Whatever else you are, Phantom Cat, you aren't stupid. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll be there. That was McDuff. We've been staking out a big house on the north side for three days expecting a raid. It's happening now. Wanna come? Mama Gora? Two of her second division boys, the Crab Twins. Then let's go. Boy, are they gonna be surprised to see you. Come on, hurry up, Tabs. Business has been good, hasn't it, Monsieur Prostate? I bet you're really, really pleased to be sharing your good fortune huh? with us, aren't you? You are despicable. You are a disgrace to a fine city. You are a menace to all that's decent. Ooh, la -dee da Listen to that, eh, hey, Alpha? You should listen. It's the truth. Phantom Cat. Phantom Cat. Phantom Cat. Phantom Cat. Here. Arthur, isn't that the fella that's been causing a boss some aggro? Hey, are you the one that's been causing a lot of aggravation to our business? That's diabolical, that is. Shut up, Jack. Well, well, it's nice to meet you at last. We've all been talking about you at the, uh, the office. You are popular, and no mistake. Phantom Cat, the money is behind him. We were just paying a social call on our very good friends here, and, uh... Oh, Gordon Bennett, is that the time? Well, Jules, we must be off. Give my regards to your good lady wife. One thing you can do for me is sign an autograph. Well, it's for me son, actually. He's a great fan. Oh, yes. Have you met Phantom Cat yet, Dad? He keeps saying. Well, tonight I can say yes, can't I? Yes, me son. Tonight I did meet Phantom Cat and a nicer, more considerate person you could not hope to meet. So could you sign something? I offer. Oh, huh? What about the money? What money's that then, Jack? Perhaps you could say something like, to Dwayne, with best wishes, something personal, you know. Treasure it all his life, you will. That's diabolical. Look what you done to his bat. They cost those bats. <laughs> Have you finished? Have we finished, Arthur? Yeah. Not so sorry. Here is your check, Miss Wildcat, and, uh, thank you, Phantom Cat. Think nothing of it, monsieur. They won't be in jail long, knowing our police force and who owns it. Mm, but at least they will think twice before they try again. They'll never know for sure whether you'll turn up. Without you, Phantom Cat, this city would be a nightmare. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's true, you know. If you weren't around, Marmagora would have 
everything her own way. Ah, how true. You would never leave, would you? No, little one. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you, little one. What did I do? Nothing. Nothing. I wish to purchase some exquisite flowers for an exquisite lady. Lucky girl. How about red roses? An excellent choice. You will send the account to Castle Phantom. Excuse me. I do not carry, um, dosh. Credit card? Credit card? We're not talking the same language, Buster. If you... Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you Phantom Cat? I have that honor. But wait till the girls hear about this. Phantom Cat in Lindy's shop. Listen, honey, you're so gorgeous, you can have those flowers on the house. And good luck to you and the little lady. Madam, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh! I think I preferred it longer. Happy birthday, Milady Taps. Uh, why, thank you. They're beautiful. They really are, but it's not my birthday. Not for ages. But who's counting? It's the nicest pre-birthday present I've ever had. Hey, I have an idea. Since we got paid last night and we have another victory to celebrate, I declare this a day off. Let's enjoy my pre-birthday. And this can stay here. No calls. Whee! Good thinking. Oh, I know. A picnic. We'll have a picnic. Yeah. Hey, where'd the bush come from? I don't know. Parks department, I guess. Keep Metro City pretty. <laughs> Come on, you two. Lindbergh, we have shopping to do. <laughs> Meet you in the park by the old yew tree in, say, an hour? We'll be there. Come, little one. What tried to eat your hat? <laughs> Why did you give me a note telling me it was her birthday if it wasn't? I didn't give you a note. And that bush hissed at me. Bushes don't hiss. I'm telling you, we've got a hissing bush. George. Yes, dear. That bush just flew away. Yes, dear. Nice spot. Got tabs. Have you had a straw in your cider? No! Bushes that eat hats and trees that abduct cats. This is a party game, yes? She's hiding up there. Very well, my lady. Cherche la femme. Eats hats, kidnaps cats, and hisses. You were telling the truth, weren't you? Yeah! If you want to see your friend again, Come to the Royal Botanical Gardens at three o'clock. Uh-oh. The same handwriting as the note about her birthday. By my sword, they will pay for this. It's a trap, Phantom Cat. They'll ambush you. I know, little one. I'll have to go. Come, I'll need your help. There's something I need to check first. I'll see you there.
the Monk, said to be the world's most patient hitman, usually operates in forests and woodland where he can disguise himself as almost any kind of plant. He has never been seen in Metro City. Well, he has now, except Phantom Cat won't be able to see him. Not in the Botanical Gardens. Nightmare! <laughs> It's hot in here. There's a hitman in there. One of the best in the world. Get out. You've got to get out. Don't worry. I'll find him. That's just it. You won't? Not in there? Of course I will. <laughs> What's he going to do? Disguise himself as a plant? Oh. Our foe is a praying mantis called the Muck. He can disguise himself as a plant. <laughs> Tread carefully. And keep your eyes peeled. I'll lead on. See anything? No. Could be. Where did he go? I see him. And that! Well, what do you think you're doing? Forgive my intrusion, sir. I'm looking for a praying mantis. I don't care what you're looking for, Sunshine. You can't come in here and start pruning the foliage. These are very rare and protected species, these are. He's kidnapped a friend of mine and he's holding her hostage. Oh, has he? Oh, a praying mantis, I see. And I suppose you're here to rescue the damsel in distress, slay the villain and live happily ever after. That right? Uh, yes. Well, I'm not having any slain in my rainforest, Sunshine. That clear? You ought to be ashamed of yourself playing kids' games with a dangerous weapon like that. Just how old do you think you are? 337. Right. That is it. That is it. I am calling the police. Flaming nut. See anything? No. Let's press on. He's here somewhere. Good day, Phantom Cat. A pleasant day for a walk in the forest, yeah. Absolutely no offence meant, I assure you. Need 
Jane. You Tarzan? Pardon me? Nice to see you anyway, Phantom Cat. Look, just hold on and close your eyes. <gasps> oh, stay up here all night if you want to. I'm going. <laughs> Still time for that picnic? Oh, picnic now, is it? I see, not content with chopping bits off my rare vegetation. You want to have a picnic and litter the place up with bottle tops and plastic forks. These are the perpetrators, Sergeant. Arrest them, if you please. But it's Phantom Cat. He's a famous crime fighter. He may be a famous crime fighter to you, Sonny Jim, but to me, he's just another ecological vandal. It's a good job we don't have any ozone layer down here. He'd be poking holes in it with that thing. And you should hear his cock and bull story about a praying mantis trying to kill him. I mean, when did you last see a praying mantis big enough to kill a cat? Well done, little one. Easy peasy. Well, Sergeant, we'll leave the rest to you. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. I've got to fill out a report on all this. You can't just walk off. Sorry, picnic calls. Yeah, chill out. My feeling exactly. Chill out. What exactly does that mean, by the way? <laughs>